when I encourage young women and young men to give the Lord secret code words that a person who they're starting to have an intimate interest in or a liking to has the ability to express through the access of angels that talk back and forth with the house of the Lord and the authorization of the experiences and life lessons we're supposed to have in love and intimate opportunities. I am clearly defining those things. But some people don't get the purpose. It's not to keep challenging God whether or not He loves you. It's not to keep challenging God whether or not He's willing to hear you. But the thing that people get off on is they think they're leading God and they're not. You're never leading God. You are submitting yourself to the Lord's house when you do this. And when you submit to the Lord's house, more blessings flow to you. But when you try to become in charge of God by saying, If you do this, then I'll come. If you do that, then I'll do this. If you, and you're doing it all through the spirit realm, that is an abomination to the Lord. At some point, you have to get off your ass and go be active in someone's life who might be a total stranger. And if you walked in front of that person and they gave you a compliment because all they saw was your eyes and that was actually you, you failed yourself. In that moment of time, you should have revealed yourself quietly and peacefully to a person of integrity who would have said, wow, it's nice to meet you. How can I help you? You see, there's a difference. There's people that want to take advantage and other people who love to serve. But you cannot serve yourself and serve God at the same time. It's not true. But you have to serve God first. Submit to the one that you truly love that is absolutely right for you next. And God tells you that. And then you can serve a community with your best. 